Hey everybody, welcome in for another video. So it's Sunday preview day. Uh, we're gonna be taking a quick look at everything that's gonna be going up for pre-order next week. Uh, and first up, there's a video. So let's let's go down. Let's go right into it here. Let's watch this. We'll see what's coming up in the week. Boom. Hey there, and welcome to this week in Warhammer. My the watercolors killed me. What's so your funny. favorite hobby over the next seven days? First up, we're still in the Gnarl Woods as the two-week pre-order period for Warcry Heart of Gur continues. This box set is the ultimate starting point for the new edition. It's, it's a good box set. Two warbands. I love the terrain in it. The like, the terrain's awesome. Gnarlwood scenery, a game board, the core rules, the Tome of Rot and Ruin, and all the accessories you need to start playing are contained within. Everything in this box is being released at a later date, but if you want a head start... So, I wanted to pause it here because, so this is, when they're saying things get released at a later date, that I'm pleased about because uh like if you just want the one of the war bands you can get that so the way they have it set up is that they've got the core book here in the background and then the rot and ruin uh which is the book with just the two of them in it yes rot and ruin so this the rot and ruin book is the rules and story for these two war bands fighting in this area that you can roll through with someone else and you know relive those stories basically or go through a campaign of your own and then that is the new core book that is what you need going forward essentially to play war cry so order directly from the games workshop <clears throat> web store we'll give you this gorgeous limited edition combat gauge while stocks last so the combat gauge people have been it's funny with these limited edition items that you get from games workshop because there's very much a price attached to it now where uh like if you buy from another retailer that you get a discount on gw products uh usually it's 50, between 10 and 20 percent it's between that range um essentially by buying from gw uh and paying that increased cost you get this gauge so the gauge is priced people have been quoting it kind of between 40 and 60 bucks uh usually usually that's what they go up for online because for instance if you don't like these war bands in the train but you're like i love war cry and want that gauge you can usually get that gauge afterwards from someone selling it online. It's the kind of treasure token every Warcry player wants, so grab yours fast. If you're collecting the chivalric Dark Angels for Warhammer the Horus Heresy, then prepare to customize your miniatures with the fantastic new Mark VI head and shoulder pad upgrade sets. Both are available to pre-order from Forgeworld from the 6th of August. Dark Angels fans have yet another reason to rejoice this week as Marduk Cedras, Lord of the 23rd Order, arrives. A highly accomplished member of the Dreadwing and a brutal fighter, Cedras was originally only available at the Horus Heresy Open Day, but now stands ready to join the ranks of every First Legion army, descending for pre-order from Forgeworld, also on the 6th of August. See, okay, that I like. I want this model, so I appreciate that they're doing this. Um... But when they release these models, it needs to be stated you can get them later because pe people suffer from FOMO. And I didn't buy it on eBay because it was way too much money. Uh, and it was just, it like I couldn't do it. But uh, I know people with any of these models where when they're released at events, people want it right away. And they figure, you know, I, it's never going to come out again. Uh, I may as well pay the absurd eBay price because over time it will just increase. But then they release it on its own and the price of the model plummets which is good for everyone else but anyone who panicked and just purchased it right away i feel bad like it's it just you really want the model and you're like whatever i'll just pay the price because there's no way i'll get it otherwise and then it turns out if you'd held off a little i've had this happen to me numerous times that's why i really try not to buy them anymore for instance the uh, company champion model i still really want and i hope will come out separately but we'll see Order from Forgeworld, also on the 6th of August. It's not just the Dark Angels seeing releases this week, as more upgrade sets go on made to order. Add some serious flavor to your Emperor's Children squads with the Mark II and Mark III shoulder pads, as well as the Mark IV torsos. Meanwhile, for players of a more loyalist persuasion, get hold of the Mark II torsos and Mark IV shoulder pads for the Noble White Scars. All are made to order from Forgeworld from 6th of August for a limited time, so make sure you order yours quick. We're gearing up for the release of Warcry Heart of Gur this week on Warhammer Plus as Loremasters explores the realm of beasts in detail. Meanwhile, over on Battle Report, we delve into the new box set, pitting the Rotmire Creed against the Horns of Hashut in a mystery-filled skirmish to the death, showing off all the new rules. If your blood is up after all that beastly action, relax with another couple of classic editions of White Dwarf on the vault. To stay up to date with everything How many? Got going on, <laughs> be sure to follow us on warhammercommunity.com Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter.
Twitter. Okay, we don't need any of this. So, <clears throat> okay, let's go through everything. So, again, you've got the Warcry Heart of Gur. Like, if you're just getting into Warcry, especially, and you, I think if if you can split this with someone else, there's some real value in here if you're just getting into Warcry. Uh, the problem is with the Warbands that you have to be like, this is my Warband, this is the one. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll end up doing because I really do want the terrain. I'm, I'm a huge terrain person, which is, again, the outlier <laughs> in the hobby, which is funny. Uh, but, like, I'll probably get the core book when it comes out separately right away and try and figure something out for the terrain eventually. But I'll, I'll get the core book, right? Like, you need that. Uh, it's more the cards and stuff. I'm not sure what will happen with these because you need the cards and everything else as well. Maybe these will come out separately, too. But yeah, the new warbands I actually really like. I know there's a lot of debate online with people saying that they're really cool or that you don't like them. And it, like for individuals, like I, I think they're great, right? But I like humans in AOS. I think it's a much better route for the game to take versus releasing god models that crush everyone. That's no fun. Like this is more interesting having it actually be fights that are close and that that there's stakes right and it's not the god of death showing up and killing everybody but anyways even the the slight corruption stuff on the characters like uh, having one of the war bands worshiping nurgle but not worshiping nurgle right and there's cues to it. it it's just very interesting to me um i would like to paint up these models but this isn't a thing like i i would get the rot myers someday like i'm not you know I don't need these models now, and I, maybe someday I'd pick them up. But again, I'm more interested in the terrain for this box than anything else. Uh, let's scroll through, and then you've again you've got the uh, the measurement, uh, the combat gauge here. Uh, I have an, a combat gauge from AOS, like first edition, that I actually really like the look of. The combat gauges are getting kind of cooler with the iconography they have, and this is again custom Warcry one. But once you have a combat gauge, you're you're good. Like I've got one, I, I don't need another one. It's fine. In terms of horse heresy stuff, the EPUB books is good because people who are holding off, being like, I just do everything on tablet. I'm very much a physical book person. I have tried to convert myself to using tablets and I just don't, I just don't care for it. And I wish that I did. I really do wish that I was a tablet person, but I'm just not. Uh, in the church from Forge World, I'm very excited for the Dark Angel stuff. Uh, the I like these heads a lot for some conversion stuff. I just splattered these through um, a couple different squads again. Not particularly a Mark Six fan, but that's fine. I like the shoulder pads. I know people, it's been very strange to me with some of the shoulder pad critiques where people like, they look really plain. I'm like, it's supposed to be a, uh, the marking for that they all wore, right? It's just the Dark Angels logo. It, that's what it is. I don't know what people were expecting from a shoulder pad that's meant to just show the iconography of the legions. It's, I, I don't know. I, I don't get it, but apparently all the shoulder pads are plain that they're bringing out, but like, they're not squad. This is meant to be mass production squad markings, right? Like everybody had this, but anyways, weird, weird critiques. Uh, Marduk Shedraz, I've said again, I'm very excited. At some point, I will get this model. Uh, I love the aesthetic of it. And this is funny with uh, this model where the direction that Horus Heresy moved, where this is now looks like a 40K model, right? He's got so much extra stuff on him. Like Horus Heresy, when it first started, no models looked like this. Everything was so plain. Uh, and even the specialty uh, unit leaders and stuff, like you could tell they were Ultramanes or something else, but they just have kind of a shoulder pad and maybe a helmet. But this is just, everything's custom on them and I love it. Uh, like even on the back, like the cloak's great. I love the sword. It's just a really cool model and I'm, I'm generally excited to paint that up. Uh, and th now we have the made to order for Forge World and I hope, I hope that they, they should do this more often. Like every summer, right? Every summer be like, hey, is there stuff that you want made to order? We'll make to order stuff. I doubt that's going to happen, but who knows? Because this is the new packaging. So they really could every year or two years roll through and be like, okay, we're going to do the loyalists or the traders. And, and you have an opportunity to get older stuff that is now no longer made. Um, because again, sometimes you want older marks of armor. You're just getting into Horus Heresy now, but you like Mark III, you like Mark IV armor, and you want custom shoulder pads. This at least gives you an opportunity and floods the market so that there will be stuff to get in a few months, even though the made-to-order window's done. People will have stuff that they're selling, right? It's just a good idea. 
Uh, I like the Emperor Shelton shoulder pads a lot. These are all great. Uh, and it was funny with the torsos where I saw some stuff where people were saying, like, the uh, middle torso, which is obviously the sergeant torso, is the only interesting one, and that is false. They're all interesting because the Emperor's children were the only legion that had the Imperial Eagle on it, right? That's why having the four torsos with the specialty eagle on it is actually super interesting because of that, right? You need that background lore and knowledge to know that this is why this is an important uh, little nod to that, right? Um, but anyways, uh, and then you have the white scars, uh, and I believe that the uh, like circular medallions are their Keshig markings, I think. I think that's what it is. Uh, theoretically... Uh, this wasn't done in the best way just because each one of them would have like you'd have a full squad with one of these versus a mixed squad but anyways I I'm pretty sure I'm right on that uh, and then you have the mark uh, four shoulder pads which are fantastic mark four shoulder pads are the shoulder pads that are the easiest thing to use across anyone in 40k uh, so I always like when you get a chance to get grab mark four shoulder pads and that's it and then on Warhammer plus they've got the Battle report for Warcry, the Lore Masters for Gur, and then more White Dwarfs. Um, they've got to be running out, right? If they used to do three a week, and then they switched to two because I think they realized that they were running out of White Dwarfs. But I'm very interested in how many they have left to show. And I know the new stuff they're not releasing like the last two years or something. I guess they have that, but that's only 24 issues. And they'll have to start making it so that it's just one issue a month after they run out of this stuff and then that'll be it forever where it's like a two-year gap where you can get that loaded on it's just funny with the white dwarfs because when you have a subscription to white dwarf like i do and generally love the magazine there's really like it's just not that basically each week i'm getting this right <laughs> but anyways uh let me know in the comments what you're most excited for this week um i'm most excited for something that's on forge world i'm most excited for marduk i think i'm going to get this model i won't get it right away i'm going to try and paint some other stuff first and then have this as like a little reward for myself but again setting up stuff like that uh in your hobby i feel is a good idea uh essentially i'm doing it if i paint once i paint a bunch of my game of thrones stuff i'm going to buy this model as a little little reward uh again let me know in the comments there there's still the war cry stuff but it's just tough when if i was getting that box set i would probably be most excited for the war cry but when i'm holding off to just grab the rule book it's a it's a separate separate thing onto itself uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out so much, uh, and I'll see everybody soon.